In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make Christmas trees, for, or trees, just regular trees, from a Reader's Digest magazine. Um, I have a bunch of Reader's Digest here. Uh, this is all for decorating purposes. Uh, you could just make the tree and not decorate it at all. And I will show you, I have examples of undecorated trees and they're just as cute, just as pretty. Um, but this, I bought some Glitter Blast. This is a silver flash and a golden glow. Kevin has some of this um, Aline's Original Turbo Tacky Glue and he said it's quick drying, so I'm gonna be using some of that. And then these I bought for the star at the top of the tree. I'm gonna try that and see if it sticks. And then to decorate the tree like uh, Christmas ornaments, I have uh, these rainbow jewels and there's all different colors in there. And then some of the trees I wanted to just do with silver. So like do a silver um, color, but then do just the silver jewels. So um, I'm gonna show you, the first thing you have to do is you have to make your tree. So that's where we're gonna start. So you have your magazine, and the first thing you wanna do, if your Reader's Digest has one of these like little half covers, you want to take that off. And then you want to go through the magazine and any of the ads, like the really thick ads, you wanna go ahead and take those out because those are not going to fold properly. So just flip the, you can fill them. My, um, dad taught me how to make these when i was young um, i can remember sitting around the table with mom dad and my sister and uh, making these and with other family members having them over and making these because they're so easy you do not have to sit at a table you can uh, be sitting on the couch and doing this i folded a bunch of these a few nights ago and i was on the couch I didn't have anything hard underneath me. I, I had a pillow and just was on top of a pillow. So you're going to fold each page twice. You're going to fold the first page over, even with the edge of the book, and put a crease in it. And then you're going to fold the second one down, even with the first one. And you're going to do that with every page in this book. So make it crease. And then that first page is thicker, so you just have to fold it over. So two steps. Step one. And then step two. And you will get, um, you will get faster at this. And you can sit there and watch TV. Like I said, I did this while watching TV. Um, for several nights in a row, actually. And uh, it just depends on how many you want to make. And um, it's just mindless, completely mindless. And you get quicker, um, quicker and quicker at it. Sometimes um, your hands will cramp a little bit. And if they do, it's normally because of the way you're having to hold uh, the book with, with your... Um, with your left hand and so if you just change the placement you're fine sped this up for you all but in real time it's taken me about 12 minutes to do this and honestly I think I'm quicker out on the couch because of the way I'm having to, to film but this back page now it is thicker I would suggest if you're going to do a bunch of these at one time that you have a rubber band to that's what I had when I was out in the den on the couch and I would put like I would get it to this point and put a rubber band on it and then uh, start on a new magazine. And uh, because 
you can do a bunch of these and then uh, move on to the next step. So hopefully you can see me okay. It might look like I'm getting ready to wrap a present, but I'm not. <laughs> um, instead, I'm going to uh, protect my table. And I don't even need the, uh, the uh, scissors like I thought I would. It's because that was the end of my roll. So what I did was I took some Christmas wrapping paper that I don't care about. And I'm just going to um, put a little piece of tape on the edge and just tape it to the table. That way, because I'm gonna be using uh, the spray and I'm gonna be using glue and I don't wanna get it on the table. So if you have kids, then uh, this is just a good way to protect your table unless you have some special paper that you use or unless, you're, um, uh, unless you have the opportunity to do this outside or something like that. You see, this is how I did it. So I um, made them, made my trees, and then I put the rubber band around them to keep them in place. And um, so right now I'm just going to glue the front to the back. These were not in my original uh, tools at the beginning, the things that I'm gonna use, but I should have um, should have gotten them out. I'm gonna use uh, some um, clothespins like this so that those two um, edges can dry. Oop, that one broke. I'm, so that these two edges can dry, I'm gonna uh, put, the put a clothespin on it. I don't think you necessarily need the clothespin, but I think it'll help. Just keep it together, just hold it together while we move on to other ones. Your, your bottoms on here and you can either leave it like this and it will look it, it, it won't sit flat if you leave it like that so you want to cut these off uh, some people fold them um, fold them under I think that's a lot of trouble so uh, my dad always taught me just to cut these off so um, it's as simple as just taking it like this and it doesn't have to be completely perfect because this is your base and no one's going to see it anyway. So it doesn't matter. So just go through all of these. And if you wanna do this before you glue the front to the back, you absolutely can. I'm just using, um, I'm waiting for the glue to dry anyway. So for me, I feel like it can be, um, it can be drying while I'm doing this step. And it doesn't, um, it doesn't take but a minute anyway. So, you see I've just gone very quickly through there. And I'm not being, not being particular about it at all. Because literally that's your base. And that's what, it, that's what it's going to sit on. No one is ever going to see that. So, I'm going to go through each one of these. And cut off all of these little uh, points that are sticking out. And then we'll be, be back for the next step. this is the point I know I'm cutting my head off this is not a good angle at all um, I'm here by myself filming so uh, at this point though you can take your paper clip off and you can just form your tree like this and you can leave it like this you do not have to uh, paint it at all you don't have to do anything to it I think it adds um, a lot to it though to um, add some uh, little bobbles or if you have like um, a string or a ribbon that you have for wrap wrapping packages, uh, you can use those. But you want to open up each one of these 
and kind of form them around. This isn't something that's going to be uh, played with. It's not, you know, it's not a toy. So you're not gonna, um, you're not gonna, once you set it in place, you're not gonna have a lot of movement of these. If you have one that's, that's really colorful, more colorful than the other ones, you know, that might be the one that you choose to, to not um, put any spray paint on. But you could do, uh, you could do orange trees if you wanted to have these for a um, Halloween decoration. You could have uh, black trees. You could have um, red. And of course, with each holiday, you know, you could put, pick different little uh, pieces of, of decor to put on there. Like if you did a red tree, if you spray painted it red, then you could have uh, little white hearts all over it for Valentine's Day. So these are uh, great to put on um, end tables or to put in the center of the table. And it's just, it's not, it's something that um, so far what we've done, uh, you can definitely have um, kids help you with it. Um, the part, the only part where um, you might not want their help is when you spray paint it. But if you don't mind what the painting looks like, then you could use um, uh, the paint with like water, the, that kind of paint, and it doesn't have to be dark, and then they could paint it themselves. So what I'm gonna do, and if you have a part that's more bare than other parts, then you can put it towards the wall to where uh, people don't see it as much. Um, so that is, that is what I will do because I can tell you back when I was a kid, the Reader's Digest was much thicker than it is now. And so you don't get, um, as a, a full of a tree as you used to get. So they used to be much, much fuller than this, but usually you're going to get a big area that, um, is not as pretty and just put it towards the back. So typically you would do, uh, like to do this out back because you want a well ventilated area. However, it's winter, it's cold outside, it's actually raining today. So we're gonna be doing this inside. That's why we covered our table. I'm not gonna use a ton of this. I have um, shaken these really, really well and I'm not gonna use a lot. It says it takes 20 minutes to dry. So um, I'm just, I'm gonna do it uh, sparingly at first. That is the, how the silver looks. And you can see it did not, this is, it just gives it a glitter blast. It, it's not made to uh, cover the pages. It's meant to just give it the appearance of having some uh, a glitter to it. So I'm going to let that one dry and then I want to show you what the gold looks like. So there's how the gold looks. I still like the look of the silver better. So for me, I will probably make the majority of my trees silver. So we, we came outside. I moved my paper out here on this. Uh, this is like a bar area, uh, but I'm breathing in the fumes and I can, I feel like I can spray these better out here without getting it all over my kitchen. So I'm gonna do uh, a couple of them and see if I can do a better job than I did inside. So I brought my trees inside and I have some over on the other counter too. This is just the ones I have sitting here. And some of them, um, like this, you can see there's a big flap open. I don't mind that because it's covering up a gap. And so like here, you see a big flap, but it's covering that up. I'm gonna have that up against a wall anyway, so you're not gonna be able to see that. But Kevin said he thought he liked the gold uh, more than the silver, but I love the look of that silver one. So I bought these rainbow jewels. I bought them in the craft department at Walmart. 
and like I said, you can get um, you can get anything um, for. I just thought these would be big enough for me to handle uh, because they do have ones that are much smaller than that. And I was thinking, I was trying to th think practically, like practically, am I going to be able to pick up this little dot and put it on this tree? No, and it would take me a hundred years. These I found in the Christmas section up front with like the um, uh, the Christmas tins and that kind of thing. And I didn't know if it would work or not. I was going to try to maybe stick it in a fold up here or something and just have it sticking out of the top. Oh, I could do it like that and not even glue it, probably. I think I will stick some glue on there. But they had white ones. And so I bought this these colors because I thought, I was trying to think what would show up well on one of these trees. Is white going to really show up? And it's not. It wouldn't. So these red ones are bigger. And I don't know. Those might look, those might look goofy to have something that big. I don't know. Uh, it might look good from a distance. <laughs> so, I'm going to, I have Kevin's glue here again. And what do you use this glue for, paper Kevin? Paper crafts. Paper crafts. Okay, I've shown you Kevin's paper crafts. So, I'm going to put a dot of glue on each gem and stick it on the tree. And it dries uh, clear, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to just try to get... All different colors this is a the gold tree the good and, thing about this glue is it's fast drying yes and it's thick too so I, I like that uh, but I think kids too I think kids uh, could do this part as well uh, as long as you have glue like this that's fast drying now they'll, they'll probably get it all over their fingers but you know what I'm getting it all over my fingers too and the good thing is is um, it, it will come off so keep putting this on here I'm actually only doing the front of the tree and uh, some people might uh, think that's cheating but really it's not because I know where I'm gonna set this and it's not you're not gonna be able to see around the back of it at all so these packages of the little gems I think were like 350 a piece maybe 320 something like that a piece so you don't want to waste them by going around uh, the entire tree if if you don't have to so you're it, you're just wasting your gems so now i'm gonna try to glue let me try one of these and we'll see how it works i really didn't have uh, a plan other than to try to Stick this in here, and it might not even look good. I think it'll look good from a distance, even if it doesn't look good right here. I don't think that looks bad. Mm -hmm. I think that'll look cute from a distance. So then, that is one of the gold trees. So, I'm going to move it back and let it dry. And like I said, all that glue will dry clear. So then, my plan for, for this uh, tree was to do um, to do all the um, like the diamond looking pieces on the silver tree and not have any any colored uh, baubles at all. one I'm not going to even put any glue on because I think it'll stay and like I said this is not a, a toy so the kids shouldn't be playing with this anyway so that's how that's going to look and then here's the one that I left just plain paper and I really I really like the color in that so like I said if you don't want to paint yours you don't have to uh, but this is a good little art project if you have um, some magazines laying around and you have a just a cold rainy day and you want something to do with the kids and you can use any number of things you could even take if you have a hole punch you could even take a hole punch and punch holes in paper and that'll make a little um, colorful uh, round pieces of paper like confetti almost. yeah like confetti and you could stick that on the tree so you don't have to spend money 
on um, the little uh, diamond pieces like I did. You could just use uh, colorful paper and that'll work just as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you've ever made these before, give me some ideas of what you decorated your tree with and thanks for watching.